All right, guys, so uh, this is the first of a couple of these videos um, for the ray diagrams. I'm going to do this one for a concave mirror. So it's a miroir courbe, miroir concave. And we're going to do the uh, principal axis here first. So I'm just going to take my ruler and draw a nice straight line. Okay, so there's our principal axis. This is where everything happens. Um, we're going to draw our curved mirror. So it's a miroir concave right there. And we're going to draw a focal point. So that's le foyer. So that's where the F comes into play. And we're going to put it right here. All right. So these are already set up for you guys. So you don't have to worry about where you're putting the F. It's already there. You just have to follow it. Okay. Um, we're going to do a reflection of a stick person. So I'm just going to put our stick person right here. Okay. And of course, we have to follow a couple of rules. And we have parallèle foyer and foyer parallèle. All right. So this is really just a two part uh, way to do this. Okay. So this would be part one and this would be part two. And the way I remember this is just, and it sounds silly, but it works. Okay. Parallèle foyer. Foyer parallel, or parallel focal point, focal point parallel. Works the same in English and French. Okay. So, also with this, with our parallel, that's going to be our incident ray and our reflected ray. So, one full ray of light has to represent the incident and the reflection off of the mirror. And then the second part, of course, again is incident and reflecté, ou réfléchi. And that would be incident and reflected. Okay, so two parts. Every ray has uh, the light coming from the object and bouncing off of the mirror. So you just have to do that twice. Okay, so let's begin. You have a point at the top of this person, and we chose that. That's just by convention. Okay, so we're always going to do the light coming from the top of our object. Okay, let's differentiate between the words object and image. So object would be what you actually have in the real world, and image is what we see in the mirror. Okay, so we're using an object object to make a mirror. Okay, so incident and reflection, parallel foyer first. So here we go. We make our ruler go exactly parallel with that principal axis. So I like to put it up top. And that looks pretty good there. All right, and we're going to go just a nice straight line. And I'm going to do arrowheads to represent the direction of light. Okay, so that is Incident. That's an eye. That's an incident ray. Light coming from the object and hit the mirror. So right there. Tick. Done. All right. The next part of this single ray would be the reflected part. And of course, our rule is foyer. So we have to go through the foyer. All right. So to do this, we're going to take our ruler. And we're going to just put it right here with the arrow where it touches the mirror. And line that up just like connect the dots through the foyer. All right, there. Okay, sorry I'm going slow, but I want to make sure I do this properly on camera. Okay, here we go. Now you notice I made that nice and long. I'm going to talk about that in a second. All right, so incident reflected. All right, so you got our R for reflected or réfléchi. And I'm just going to put a little check here so you guys know where we are. So, parallel foyer, done. Step one is done. All right. Step two, foyer parallel. It's just the same thing in reverse. So, take our ruler again, starting from the exact same point up at the very top of our stick person. And you're going to play a game of connect the dots. So, that means you have to touch your ruler off the top of the image, through the foyer, and the mirror. So, all three points have to be in line. So right about there. All right. This is hard to do with a cell phone in your face. All right. And I'm going to do arrowheads to represent the direction of light. And I'm going to put a little eye there because it's ainsi non. So there we go. Foyer done. Now we just have the last part, which is our parallel. So I take my ruler and again, I'm making it parallel with that principal axis. That's what parallel means. So it can't be like this. It can't be like this. It has to be a nice, level, straight line. 
horizontal parallel with that principal axis. Okay, I'm going to do that right here. Okay, and again, I made it nice and long. Now, the reason why I made that nice and long, I'm just put my R here because that's réfléchi. So, done. So the reason we made it nice and long is to create the intersection. Okay, if I stopped my line here or here, no good. I wouldn't have my intersection. I'd have to fool around and make it a bit longer, which is not a big deal. You can fix it, but it's just nice and easy. Make your reflected rays long to begin with. Piece of cake then. Okay, so we are done with our drawings of the lines, but now we need to make our image. So I'm going to do a second video just for the image, and uh, I'm going to pause the video here so that way you can kind of go back and forth between the two. All right.